Yes, I'm back out where I belong on the moors, solo wild camping this evening and I uh, can't wait to get on with it. I've got the picture over there. I'll show you a little bit more about that later on. But in this vlog, we are going to be looking at the Thermarest Honcho Poncho. I don't believe it. A little bit of rain coming. I don't think it'll last long. I think we're in for a nice day tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. This evening there was forecast a little bit of rain and I think that is it. Just a little bit of rain. So yeah, wild camping tonight, really excited. My location, that's a secret. I'm sure some of you can guess where it is. I'll give you a little bit of a look around. But uh, yeah, let's keep these a little bit more secret. And I just want to thank you so much for your uh, positive comments on my last vlog when I had a little bit of a moment uh, regarding the wild camping and how I was feeling about it. Uh, but uh, thank you so much for your positive comments and yes of course we just do it nice and stealthy like this and uh, keep our locations to ourselves so yes the honcho poncho what is it well the answer to that is i'm not really sure a couple of vlogs ago i was banging on about uh, needing a little bit more freedom wanting a little bit more freedom when i'm wild camping instead of being cooped up in my mummy style uh, sleeping bag I find it really restrictive and when I'm wanting to get out for a wee in the middle of the night which I do quite a few times uh, it's a real faff getting in and out so I'm looking for something that will give me warmth and freedom and this is what the Thermarest Honcho Poncho claims to do. Now it's not cheap, it was about, well, just over a hundred pound for the Honcho Poncho, made by Thermarest, so I figured that they know what they're doing when it comes to keeping you warm when you're wild camping. So uh, I took the plunge and, uh, and ordered this, really a uh, bit of an impulse buy really. Uh, so I've got no idea how good it is. We're gonna be testing it tonight. The temperatures are going to plummet to around about four degrees, so yeah. I've got it with me. Now it looks quite big, but it is compressible uh, fibers that it's made out of. So it really does compress down to small size. Now I am going to be modeling it later on. So uh, stick around for that. I have no idea what it looks like on, <laughs> but it's not a fashion item. It's to keep you warm and you still have the ability to move around. So if it works tonight, then I think it's gonna be great throughout the uh, spring and summer. So I'm looking forward to testing it. I hope you're gonna stick around and see what I think of it. Uh, let's just have a look at my pitch. I'm gonna take you over to my pitch. Uh, this is where I'm sleeping tonight. Up on the moors, beautiful pitch, really happy with it. And as you can see, I'm not in the bivy bag tonight. I am giving myself a little bit more room and we are in the Van Gogh Banshee Pro 200 Max. And it's a great tent. I'm really glad that I brought it tonight. I'm feeling good about this. So let's have a quick look at this uh, honcho poncho and then we can get on with testing it. I really need something to eat. So I'm gonna get over there and have something to eat in a moment. So the honcho poncho, it comes in this bag and this bag is connected to it. It becomes a pocket when you open it out. Like I say, it is very compressible. So don't be uh, thinking that it's this size. Um, that's the uncompressed size but as you can see let me just push down on it you can see how much it's compressed right now and that's just me holding it so it does compress right down so let's uh let's talk about the properties before we open it up it is made out of as i say compressible uh, fabric and it's water resistant and uh it's got these uh, hollow fibers that reduce weight without sacrificing on warmth. So I've got high hopes for it. I'm hoping it's gonna keep me warm, we will see. It's actually water resistant, so you can walk around in a bit of a shower, you can still keep it on and the water will just run off. So that sounds pretty good. So it's got uh, a water resistant breathable shell is how it's described. So the idea of it is that it's a poncho that you can wear, walk around and keep you warm. And also you can take it off and it becomes a square quilt, which will actually cover two people. Or you can wrap it double and it's a bit like a, an open sleeping bag. So I'm hoping that all these features are gonna work for me. Let's open up this. The zip, I'm not, not very accustomed to this. I've only opened it once. So there you go, that's out of the bag. Turn the bag inside out. And then you have 
a hood. It is getting a little bit cool, so a good time to test it. And uh, we throw it over our head. <laughs> Let's take the hat off. <laughs> over our head. There's a little place for your arms to go through there. That's the that's the pocket there which you can zip up and keep things in there and that's it. So there you go Poncho Poncho. I'm already feeling quite warm and the hood is uh, quilted as well so like I say it's waterproof if it started raining now I'd still be okay. So, I'll stand back a bit so you can see. What do you think? Got pockets here at the side of the little kangaroo pocket. And you can zip that up and store things inside there. So what will it be like at night? Now, if you're interested in the honcho poncho, keep on watching this vlog because we're going to see whether it's going to work for me tonight when it drops to about four degrees. It's going to be about four degrees tonight. And um, I'll leave uh, in the description below, I will leave the dimensions and the pack size and the weight, of course. I'm hoping for an interesting sunset tonight. We've got the rays just coming through the cloud there. And I'm going to let the sun come down, have something to eat and let the temperature come down as well. Get into the honcho poncho, get into the tent. So I've just been having a scan around with my binoculars, very powerful binoculars that I bring with me. Uh, ruggedized. What are they? Rainforest Pro Phase Coated Protected Mead. Brilliant binoculars. I should have done a review on them. Maybe that was it. But I've uh, been having a scan around with the binoculars and uh, I've spotted another I've spotted another wild camper right over there on the horizon. Now, I don't know whether it's the done thing, but I feel that I feel that I want to go over and say hello. Uh, it's quite a long walk. <laughs> Shall we go? Let's go. <laughs> so I arrived, it was quite a walk across the moor, but my stick <laughs> stood me in good stead. And here he is. So yep. what's your name, pal? Uh, my name's Lee. All right, uh, Lee. And I'm out for the night, just chilling, a few beers. And he's been telling me that he's been watching uh, who's, Hayes. Hayes is one of your favourite YouTubers. And now I am. <laughs> I was watching it, I was like, his latest video last night, I was like, ah, can't wait to get out tomorrow, can't wait. I was going to do it last night, but... I didn't get out of bed till early and so afternoon. You're into the wild camping for well-being. Yeah. Yeah. Keep, keep me nogging right. Yeah. Keep this right. Yeah. To get away from everyone. Yeah. And then I come and walk across the uh, Doesn't bother me that fellow <laughs> wild camper. It's okay. more the merrier when that's like it's just not when there's like groups of six or seven of you, that's what attracts attention to us. Yeah, isn't that's it? right, yeah. That's right. So I'm gonna work make my way back across the moor and uh get into my tent, it's going to be a pretty decent sunset, I think. That's why I've got my that door that way. Yeah. And I get the sunrise. Yeah, nice way. setup. So. so I'm glad I came across. <laughs> yeah. Okay, make sure you subscribe. Yeah. Have a good evening. Yeah, you See too. You. Bye. Wait, nice to meet you. So I'm back at my uh, campsite now, my tent's there, and uh, the night is drawing in. Now the trip across the Sea Lee has really warmed me up there and back across the moor. I went as the crow flies, it was quite a hike. Uh, but yeah, it's really warmed me up, even though the temperature is now dropping. No need for the honcho poncho quite yet. I know what you're thinking, uh, why, why don't I just get a pretty decent, like, jacket down filled jacket and wear that at night well the reason is the uh, honcho poncho hopefully remember the, I, this is the first time for me trying it out uh, so uh, hopefully the honcho poncho is going to uh, have a number of uses such as getting out of the tent to go to the toilet in the middle of the night and uh, also opening it out as a quilt to uh, sleep under when the weather is warmer. I'm hoping that it's going to have that function. I don't think you quite get that out of a coat. So we will see. Okay, the temperature has really dropped. The sun is also dropping. 
And uh, I'm going to get into the tent right now because it is getting a little bit cold. I've got the honcho poncho on already because I'm just having a little bit of a walk around and that's what I got it for. So I've got the freedom to walk around and keep warm. I'm going to get into the tent. I'll be even warmer. Put the hood up and uh, hopefully get a really good night's sleep. On some of these uh, solo wild camps that I do, I've usually already had a little bit of a nod off leaning against a rock or something like that. Haven't nodded off. Haven't had a sleep, so I'm hoping to get a really good sleep tonight. And the reason I didn't sleep because I went over to see Lee right over there. He is a dot on the horizon, but I can see that he is still there and I hope he has a great night too. So I will see you during the night, maybe. I might report to you during the night on how we're going with the honcho poncho in the tent. But uh, if not, I will see you in the morning. Good morning. It's a fine morning. We've got the sunrise coming up there. How did the honcho poncho do? That is what this vlog is all about. Well, I'm still wearing it. It's still keeping me warm. And yes, it did keep me warm last night, but the temperature was very low. So I'll talk to you a little bit more about that. I'm going to drop the tent right now and uh, we'll have a chat as I walk back. Well, I'm all packed up and ready to go. I'm just gonna have a quick look over onto the horizon with my binoculars and see if I can see if Lee is still there. But I'm all packed up, leaving no trace of course, except for a little flat patch of grass where I slept. Yes, Lee is still there. It's uh, half past six. So yes, it was good to see Lee and Lee returned the favour and he came over the moor, which is about a mile and a half hike. Uh, he came over to see me last night and we had a chat again. So uh, great to see you, Lee. I hope your night went well. Uh, let's make tracks and talk about the honcho poncho. Was it good enough? Did it keep me warm enough in uh, one degree temperature? Got down to one degree last night. Did it keep me warm enough? So I'm on my way back and you can probably already tell that I had quite a cool night. Um, the honcho poncho is brilliant. I've got to say, um, one degree is a little bit cold for that. So it was an extreme test and it did keep me warm. But as the, uh, as the night went on, I did pull out a very cheap Yellowstone sleeping bag, one of the first sleeping bags that I got. And all you guys uh, <laughs> told me that I would regret that. And I did regret buying that, but I didn't regret bringing it yesterday just as a backup. So with the very cheap uh, sleeping bag and the honcho poncho, I was okay. But yes, the honcho poncho definitely keeps you warm and it will be perfect for me when the weather gets better. So if you're considering purchasing the honcho poncho, uh, then I can definitely recommend it for spring and summer use only though. Uh, it'll be really handy. It kept me warm this morning as I was uh, starting to put the stuff away, having a bite to eat and just, uh, just uh, getting ready for the morning when you sat outside of the tent. Because when you're doing solo wild camping and carrying all the gear on your back, then uh, you haven't got much room in the tent, so it's nice to be able to sit out even when it's a little bit cool on a morning. It was really handy for that. So as it says, it's a poncho and it's a quilt, quite a large quilt. Remember, I'm going to put the um, specs in the description below, the weight and the size and stuff like that. So that's about it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Another solo wild camp for me. Now, if you're new to my channel, i just let you know that I am training for the West Highland Way. Me and my lass are doing that at the end of this year, August, September time. So that's what this is all about right now, the wild camping and the hiking. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, testing out the honcho poncho. If you have enjoyed it, consider subscribing. I upload vlogs every month. 
So if I don't see you through the month, I will see you in the next one. Bye.